It's the 14th of February 2019. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruth Inasoje. And these are the stories making the headlines across the country. And starting off today, which is Valentine's Day, is a story about the Harvest Money Expo, which is taking place tomorrow at Nambuala Stadium. Now, are you an exporter or an importer seeking ideas on how to network with your clients? The Harvest Money Expo has answered your prayer. The three-day event will help importers and exporters to network as well as boosting their businesses. The Expo is organized by Vision Group at the Mandela National Stadium Nambole in Wakiso District. It is slated for Friday, which is tomorrow, till Sunday under the theme Farming Arts a Business. This will not only help them to link with the best suppliers and buyers of the best equipment and other tradable materials, but will help in promoting value addition, which can enhance export promotion. Now, according to Naboma, the events manager for Vision Group, the final preparations are in Hygiea. Visitors will be expected to arrive on Friday starting 6 30 a.m. Entrance fee is 10,000 shillings for all visitors, while those wishing to, uh, to train in any session will only pay 10,000 shillings. But don't forget the 10,000 shillings as entrance fee. Now, Naboma said about 15 senior government officials have confirmed a tennis in order to educate people about the different programs they are working on, as well as helping people learn how to enhance their businesses. Now, the training sessions will include livestock innovation, irrigation, among so many others. So let us meet tomorrow at Nambole Stadium. Crossing over to Hoima District, authorities in Hoima District have confirmed a fresh influx of Congolese refugees in the country following the outbreak of tribal clashes between the Lendu and Bagheri in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, Samuel Chisembo Arali, the resident district commissioner of Hoima, said hundreds of Congolese are crossing into the country via Lake Albert and they were being registered at Sebigoro landing site in the new district of Chikube. Chisembo told the New Vision that they had invited officials from the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees Office of the Prime Minister and other humanitarian bodies for a meeting to forge our forward. Yes, they are watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. I am Ruth Nasitastik. Let's take a break and look at what is making the headlines into this copy of the New Vision. <music> For those who cannot access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e paper and get all the products published by Vision Group. And those with smartphones, all you have to do is to download the Vision Group e paper app and access all the products published by Vision Group. It is Valentine's Day today, but all I have to do is to remind you that the Harvest Money Expo is on tomorrow. It is going to start at 6.30 a.m. And the entrance fee will be just 10,000 shillings. For those who love to attend training sessions, you will pay an extra 10,000 shillings for each training session. The theme for this year's Harvest Money Expo is farming as a business. Now let us meet at Nambole tomorrow and get the best in farming. Let us get into more headlining stories today now from Nebi the right the Reverend Father Dr. Emmanuel Odaga, the Vice Rector of Gaba National Seminary, has been appointed as the decision administrator for Nebi Diocese following the transfer of Bishop Linus Lanctas Wanok to Lira Diocese. Wanok was appointed that's the new Bishop of Lyra Diocese, on November 23rd by Pope Francis, replacing Bishop Joseph Frazel, who has retired. Odaga, who is also the legal advisor of the Ugandan Episcopal Conference, was elected by the Diocesan College College of Consultants on Tuesday. The Decision College of Consultants 
is the group of priests who have a canonical and civil role in the governance of the diocese. Now, by virtue of his newfound status, Odaga will now assume the title of Monsignor, ordained to the priesthood in 1988. Odaga was a lecturer at Gaba, where he served for 29 years, eight as vice rector. He is currently an executive secretary in charge of canon law. Closing of the bulletins, a story from Sorority District where emotions are running high among leaders and locals in Sorority District following the death of a woman who was on a week's fast. Now, the pastor at the center of the controversy is self styled prophet Luis Odeke of Deliverance Ministries International in Sorority Town. Last Thursday, Deborah Achen, a member of his congregation, collapsed while fasting and was admitted to Sorority Hospital. Where when she died. Now the deceased had peptic ulcers, according to her husband Peter Eswag, with whom they have one child. The post-mortem report confirmed that a chain died as a result of a wound that started bleeding after failure to access food or water. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video. You can also follow us on social media. Facebook is The New Vision. Twitter is at New Vision Wire. Instagram is at New Vision Wire. And our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Rothy The Voice. Thank you for watching.